It tells me T.Y. Hilton is ready to put on a uniform and contribute right now. Um, Skip, I think anytime you sign a player at this at this juncture that was on the street, you're not looking for a game, you're looking for a play. Can he give me a play? Can he give me a big play? Can he give me a catch on third down? Can he keep a drive alive? If we need a spark, can he give me that? Because he used to have, I mean, he was a big play receiver. I mean, his last, I mean, his last best season was uh, 2018. He had 1,270 yards, six touchdowns in 14 games, 16.7 y- yards a catch. Yep. He has five 1,000-yard seasons in his 10, uh, 10 seasons in Indy, yep. 53 touchdowns, a little less than 10,000 yards. So that's what it tells me, Skip. He worked out. Um, I think he missed like eight, nine games, maybe even 10 games last year. I think he, he did. And, and so He had three different injuries. Right. Yep. And so got an opportunity to get his body fully healed. He came in. Mike McCarthy said he's ready to go. So – if I work out, so so because the question is, Skip, in five weeks, is Odell going to be ready for, in five weeks to work out or five weeks ready to put on a uniform and go catch a pass or passes if needed? That's the unknown. Nobody knows because he didn't work out. So they don't know how far along they know, okay, he's had, he had surgery then and now it's this. So it's 10 months, it's 10 months, two weeks, blah, blah, blah. We know all of that. Mm-hmm. But how ready is he to contribute? for the on-field success of the Dallas Cowboys right now. Mm-hmm. And it looks to me that T.Y. Hilton was ready to contribute right now, and so I think that's why they went in this direction. Yeah. And so the question is, you got C.D., you got Michael Gallup, who's getting better, you got Noah Brown. Who else do you have after that? Clearly, they're not trusting the rookie right now. Not. Nope. That's Because if, if he was ready to go, if he's what you thought he was going to be when you mm-hmm. selected him in, what, the third round? Mm-hmm. You don't sign T.Y. Jay Hilton. Tolbert. Yep. So I he, think he that's gonna, that's that's. He, he said, "I'm coming to change the culture." Yeah, and you so get on the field first. That right? that does. Skip. You sign a guy like De- Devonte Adams for games. Yeah. You sign a guy like Ty Hill- Hilton for a play, or or maybe you sign him just in case. <laughs> maybe. Heaven forbid. I'm going to knock on wood. But if one of my top two receivers goes down, right. and all of a sudden you're stuck and you're about to play the Eagles, right. well, maybe. Right. Maybe T.Y. Hilton can step right in right. and, and do Well, a couple of weeks ago, Skip, we went over some names, and I threw T.Y. T. Hilton you out did? of there. Threw, uh, threw yep. T.Y. Hilton out, and I'm like, okay, why not? Okay. <sighs> to your point, Mike McCarthy's quote yesterday was, he's ready to go. That's T.Y. Hilton. Well, that's it. It's just as simple as that. <laughs> he's ready, and he's not ready. Right. It did give me pause and give me actually a little hope that Jerry was adamant about this when our man Clarence Hill Jr. asked him yeah. after the game on Sunday, are you moving on from Odell? And the quote was, not at all. Put a big exclamation on that. That's all I got on right. that. Just put a big exclamation. Not at all. I'm not cooling off at all. It felt like Jerry got enamored of Odell. And Jerry's like that. Sometimes right. he takes a liking to somebody, even on the phone, like he clicks with him. Right. I think... He's enamored of the idea of having Odell wear the star on his helmet, as right. Jerry said, right out of the box. It, it is not going to happen this year, obviously. Right. But I think he wants to keep the lines of communication open, and he wants to stay in the sweepstakes for Odell going into next year. So you don't, so you don't believe Odell is going to be on the team this season? No. I don't, because I think Odell himself has made it pretty clear he's just not ready to go. And I told you I heard from somebody pretty close to him that, that he fears he's not even going to be ready quite for the start of next year. Right. It's not responding the best. Damn. Well, it's just it's been a little shaky. Right. And, and that he's still a little limpy on it. Right. Well, he, he wouldn't work out. And the other big point they made is T.Y. came in and put on a show. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We, uh, okay. Well, it's good for you. Right. Okay. We talked about that. Going to the uh, facility on Tuesday, our day off, yeah. and seeing 10, 15 guys in there putting on t- putting on uh, a Bronco gear yep. and getting ready to get on the field. They're running 40s. They're vertical jumping. If you're a DB, you backpedaling. You're doing all those things. You're wide receiver. You're out there catching passes. Yep. So it was odd to me, but I understood. That was Odell. None of the guys that normally came in and worked out was a guy of Odell's caliber. No. No. So, and he's coming off an injury, so he's like, okay, let's let's tug the knee, let's do some things, and then let's see where you okay. where you are. So, in the best case scenario, would I prefer Odell Beckham Jr. right now to <laughs> T.Y. Hilton? Well, sure I would. If you could tell me he was 92%, because you, you, you can't, 
he, you, you can't bet on the come with him. You, you can't sign him. That, that's for a while. I thought somebody would try to stash him, you no. know, like stash sign. Mm -mm. And I'm still not convinced that he won't go back to the Rams, the Rams but I don't know what their quarterback situation is going to shake out. And he and Baker, if it ends up being Baker going into next yeah, year. Yeah, I don't see that. I, I'm not sure that one's going to fit. <laughs> but the point is that that T.Y. Hilton is fine with me because they stole him, basically. It's a it's a grand total of $800,000 if he gets his incentives. If he goes into the postseason, he gets him, he can make 1.3. Yeah. Remember, Odell wanted, pro. I think, this is with the report, he wanted prorated $20 million over the last four or maybe even five yeah. games. We'll yeah. do the math on that. Yeah, I didn't okay. see that happening. Okay, so the, the point is, this is a steal for a guy who made four Pro Bowls. Yeah. And a guy who once upon a time, it was a long time ago, he ran 4-3 coming yeah. out, out of Florida International. It's also a steal for a guy that was sitting on his couch making he, no money. He was making no <laughs> money. And and by the way, he, he was making no money the whole offseason. Yeah. And then, well, I don't even know what the date is today, but we're, we're getting deep into yeah. this season, right? We got, what, four four games right. left. And, and he was still sitting on his couch. Right. Are you kidding me? Well, that's not the best sign for the Dallas Cowboys. Right. But what did Kellen Moore say about T.Y. Hilton? As a veteran, he knows ball. He's really, really smart. Right. His reputation as a receiver when he was the number one mm -hmm. for Andrew Luck. Right. Highly intelligent, right. ran precise routes. Yes. And, and Luck and he were a great combination. Yes. And I don't know if you remember the game. It was late in the 2018 season after Amari had just come to Dallas uh -huh. and they had the one Rocky game against Tennessee on Monday Night Football. And then they, remember, they took, took off. off. They yes. went to Philadelphia and won. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, everything was coming up roses again in Dallas. Mm -hmm. And yet they were on a roll late season. And then the second to the last game was at Indianapolis. Indi oh, yeah. Do you remember this? Yeah. And out of nowhere. They got, they got blown. The 27 nothing game? 23. 23, was, okay, yeah. 23 or nothing. Yeah. But, but Dak couldn't score a point. Right. Dak and Amari mm -hmm. couldn't score a point. Yeah. And I looked it up last night just to see, because sometimes it'll stick in, in the psyches of coaches like a Kellen Moore or something, mm -hmm. you know, who, who will remember, oh, God, that day. Right. Well, he caught five for 85, which is still pretty good. That yeah. 85 is pretty good, mm -hmm. as, as you know. And so they saw him at his finest. Right. And four Pro Bowls is four Pro Bowls. Yeah. But he's 33 years of mm -hmm. age. Well, th they all say he takes great care of himself, and he was taking great care of himself. He's staying in great shape. He was working out every day. And, and he did put on a nice show in the workout that he gladly did for the right. Dallas Cowboys. Yeah. Okay. So – Remember, James Washington is still there, and they gave him a little bit of money right. also. And I keep telling you, he won the Bolitnikoff yeah. Award at Oklahoma State. Now, it was a few years back, yeah. but then at Pittsburgh as a second-round pick. I think I trust T.Y. more, though. Okay, well, you, you probably should. <laughs> yeah. and, and I told you the other on Monday, they let James get some early run in yeah. that game against Houston, and <laughs> Dak threw him one ball and hit him on a little slant and yeah. hit him right in the hands. Yeah. And he coughed it. He just he just couldn't hang on. He's he a 50-50 you know? guy. There's a 50% okay. chance he catches it. There's a 50% okay. chance he drops it. But, but he's got that weird gear where he ran yeah, okay. four or five, but he can run by people. Yeah, he, yeah. And so I was hoping, give me one play from him occasionally, right. but I don't know if he's fallen a little bit out of favor now or whatever. But, but apparently they don't view him as the answer. And T.Y., and can he play out of the slot a little yeah. bit more? Can he be more of that sort of – Cedric Wilson that they had last. But the thing is, Skip, like when a guy's been away for a while, it takes him a while to get his rhythm. Yeah. Because you got to realize, Skip, I hadn't been running routes. I haven't been in the game. I had, you know, catching passes and shorts and a t-shirt is, is one thing. Yeah. Catching with shoulder pads and a helmet when somebody's trying to put put a, their helmet in my ear hole is something entirely different. So it's going to take a while to get rhythm, get the feel of the game because your spidey senses are not where you, they need to be. Because when you when you as a receiver, Skip, you know where that collision is going to come from because the defense, oh, this is a cover three look, okay, the DB should be here, or the linebacker should be there, or it's a, cover, a quarters look, or it's a shell look. So you, you've you lost that because it's been so long since you've been on the field and had to use those senses. Senses, if you don't use them, you'll lose them. Okay.
So it sounds like Jerry still has a strong notion that he has a good chance of signing Odell going into next year and start fresh with him, hoping that his knee is fully How out. you going to do that? That man want $20 million, so what know. the hell are you going to pay a CD? CD going to want somewhere between 26 and, and $30 and, million. And, and you already paid Michael Gallup yes. going into this year when he was coming off an ACL and was not right, remember, for quite a while. He's just now getting right. You better save some of that money because you know who coming. <laughs> that, that guy, that guy you always talk about, the guy that you say the best no. player on your team, he coming. He hasn't been the best player on my team for a couple of weeks now, and I need to see him rise and shine and start earning that money again. And, and, and yeah. just so you know, uh, um, Dak and uh, um, Michael Gallup, uh, Michael Gallup, uh, Michael Parsons, yep. they'll be up at the same time. They will. That contract will be completely up. Yep. Michael gonna be wanting an extension on that and going going into the fourth year. What you gonna do, Skip? Well, I'll worry about that. Oh, bridge. you don't worry about it. You worry. I'll cross that bridge <laughs> after we get to the NFC Championship game this year, and I'm a happy camper. You know that drive the price up, right? Yeah. You don't get to the NFC Championship game, drive the price up for Dak and Michael, right? Yeah. It, it and will. CD. Okay, but the cap's gonna go up. <laughs> and and they going up there. As Jerry always <laughs> says, you have no idea the size of check I would write to get me another Super Bowl. Okay, well, uh, Jerry, you have a salary cap, but exactly, you know, right? You might have to write a check up under the table. Yeah. <laughs> well, occasionally he's written checks against the cap that got him fined, <laughs> yeah, right? Exactly. That cost him some draft picks. Yeah, he, he and, the, and watching the football team. I think <laughs> that's why he and Snyder get along so well. Maybe because he's still supporting dancing. He's still I, I don't know. I don't get it. But all I know is, welcome to Dallas, T.Y. Hilton. That's all I got to say. I ain't never right. seen somebody. You done, you done did a whole 180 on well, Odell. You well, on I didn't Odell. do a 180. I can't have him right now. I, I just, he just but the thing ready. is, you politicking and, and, and trying to get him. I was trying to get him because I loved <laughs> I, I wanted him in sheer presence. I, okay. I just wanted him in my locker room, in my huddle. Just, we got Odell, and you don't. But you, and, don't and, you want to be in your huddle if he can catch the passes? Yeah, but because he was... Wasn't he the catalyst last year, yeah, would you was. say, in the in the playoffs? Mm -hmm. He became the catalyst. I'm not saying he was a difference maker as far as he wasn't Cooper Cup, but right. he was he, he was a good luck charm yeah. for the Rams, yeah, he played, right? he played well. Yeah. Yeah. So he, I definitely, thought, he definitely helped them get to where the ultimate destination. There's no question about that. All right. So here we go with T.Y. Hilton, and I'm just hoping he's he'll be a blast from the past. Right? <laughs> well, he's 33. Is, yeah. that, is that too old for a, a speedy wide receiver? I mean, at what point do you do you start to lose a step when, when you rely strictly on your quickness and speed? Well, I mean, he had 500 yards in 2019, 762 in, in uh, uh, 2020. Didn't have really a whole lot. Uh, last year, he had 331. Okay, but he had three things go wrong. He had a back injury, and then he had a quad right. injury, and then he had a, a concussion injury. So yeah. at some point in time, all those injuries start to add up, and you, your speed start to go down a little bit, right? Now you're wishing and hoping. Nah, there you go. Well, we'll see. That's what you did with Odell. You said Odell wasn't the same player because he had all these injuries. He had well, he hurt did. his Okay. He <laughs> did. Well, so he did. Did T.Y. not have any injuries? Okay, well, I'm with you. And, and, and frankly, the more you talk and the more I think about it, I'm a little surprised they did this. But they must know something I don't. No, they do. <laughs> they're real thin at receiver. <laughs> <They're real> thin. <laughs> That's what they know. They know that they might have swung and missed on their third-round pick. Because shouldn't he about this time? Shouldn't this be yes. time to contribute? Yes, yes. <sighs> you see the guy up in Green Bay? Yeah. That dude got like 10 touchdowns in like four games. Boy, he's something. <laughs> I, I got to tell you. 6'4 and runs 4'3? Yes. That's something. Yes. Okay. My guy is Because you something. see, Skippy, it took him a while. It took him seven, eight games. But once he got the hang of it. Did he? Well, well, unfortunately, he dropped the very first ball that got thrown to him, and it was a deep ball, yeah. and it was on big TV. Oh, it was a bus against the bikes. Yeah, and it just hit him right yep. in the hands, yep. and, of course, Aaron kind of ridiculed yep. him with his body language. Now he's a, uh, he's a Roger's favorite receiver. He is. Well, he should be. Yep. He's, he's a stud. And now, remember, they got Romeo Dobbs in the fourth round. Right. And we took Jalen Tolbert in the third round. W would would Romeo Dobbs be contributing right now for the yeah. Dallas Cowboys? Yes, he would. Didn't you like him? Because he yes. plays big yeah. to me. Yes. Whew. T.Y.'s deal is reportedly worth up to $1.5 million for the rest of this season, guys. Wow. So plenty of incentives for him to have a fantastic close to this season for Skip's Cowboys. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Subscribe here to get the very latest from Skip and Shannon. Plus, go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.